In this short video, we'll show you how to download and install City Engine so you can get right to your first City Engine project. Esri City Engine is available for download from the Esri Customer Care Portal at customers.esri.com or from the trial download site. Access from www.esri.com. Once there, go to the products page and under Focus Solutions, click on City Engine. Then click on Try It For Free and this will bring you to the City Engine free 30 day trial page. You'll be prompted to log in with your Esri Global ID and if you haven't already got one, you can also choose to create one at this stage. I'll go ahead and log in with my existing Global ID. And once you enter your information, it'll bring you to a page where you answer a few additional questions. Once you're finished here, click the next button and you'll be brought to the download page. The licensing is available at both the basic and advanced levels and you can read more about the differences in functionality between the basic and advanced level license on the Esri City Engine product page. Access from www.esri.com The setup and authorization for single use and concurrent use is slightly different. So first we'll look at the single use setup and then I'll run through the setup for concurrent use. City Engine runs on Windows, Mac and Linux operating systems. But for this video I'll be demonstrating the installation using the Windows operating system. Choose your download site either from the Esri Customer Care Portal or from the City Engine trial download site and choose the files you want to install. I'm going to choose to download Esri City Engine for Windows and I click on the download button and this launches the Esri Download Manager. So here you have the option to either download using the manager or I can click here to download the file without the manager. So select your preferred option and the download will begin automatically. Once the download is complete, go to the location where the file was downloaded. Click the executable and then click run. When the installation wizard appears, select a destination folder for your files and click OK. Once you're done, click finish to complete the installation. The next step is to authorize the software. When the City Engine Administrator launches, under the City Engine folder, select the product that you wish to authorize. Choose to authorize now. And in the authorization options, choose I have already installed the software and need to authorize it and click next. Here you can choose to authorize with those who are using the internet and then fill in some personal information where applicable. Next, this is where you can copy and paste the trial evaluation number if you're using the trial version. If you have a provisioning file or a file that's been supplied to you, this will already be given to you already populated. And click Next and then wait for the authorization to complete. Once the authorization information has been sent and you're successfully authorized, you can click finish and we can begin using City Engine. Now click OK to close the City Engine Administrator. After you finish authorization, you can always change your license level or update your license type from the City Engine Administrator access from the Windows Start menu. So choose Start, then go to All Programs and find the Esri folder. Then you should see the City Engine Administrator. And here you can change your license type from Advanced to Basic or to Concurrent and click Cancel to close the window. Now let's look at concurrent use authorization. For those new to license type, a concurrent use license allows City Engine to be used on any machine. 
Each installation accesses a central license manager that contains the appropriate licenses. If you already have a license manager set up, the authorization process is more or less the same as single use. You just need to define the license manager. And I'll show you how we do that at the end of the license manager installation. So let's go ahead and download the ArcGIS license manager. I'm doing it from the Esri City Engine trial download site. So click download. So I'm going to click here to do it without the download manager. Once the download is complete, click on the application and select run. You're prompted for a location to store the files and click OK. And then the license manager setup is extracting to that location. Click close and leave the check mark on to launch the program straight away. And here we have the license manager set up. We'll click through the wizard, accept the license agreement and click next. And this is the install location that you can select for the license manager files. And click through the rest of the wizard and just let the files extract and then click finish once that's completed. Once the ArcGIS license server administrator is launched, select the version of City Engine you want to authorize and then click the Authorize Now button. Once the authorization wizard launches, if you have a provisioning file, select the third option and browse to where the provisioning file is located on your file system. Click Open and then Next. Here I'm gonna to choose to authorize using the internet and in this screen, you'll be prompted to fill out a few details, like your email address or your address. Once finished, click Next, and then fill out any additional information. And here you can see the advanced and basic licenses that will be authorized. Once you click Next, the authorization process begins. And once it's completed, you're ready to begin your first project. And in the License Server Administrator, under the Availability folder, you can check that the licenses are authorised and available for use. Now the licenses have been authorised on the License Manager, let's imagine I'm a user that wants to connect to that License Manager to be able to pick up a license and use City Engine. Let's take a look at how we can define the License Manager in the City Engine Administrator. So first we launch the ArcGIS Administrator and then in the City Engine folder you choose the concurrent use license that you want to use. In the License Manager, you have the option to browse to or type in the License Manager computer name. And this might be given to you by your License Manager Administrator. When finished, click OK. Once authorization is completed, you're ready to begin your first project. Before you get started, if you want to get a feel for the different types of projects you can create, there are examples and templates that are accessed either from the City Engine Resource Center or from the City Engine Welcome Wizard. If the Welcome Wizard isn't already launched, you can access it from the C drive under Program Files in a folder called Esri. Once it's open, you'll be prompted to choose a workspace to store all your City Engine projects. And if you look down the list at the left, we can see a City Wizard listed there. And that's a template that we're going to look at together. But before we get started, I'm going to show you another way to access the City Wizard. You can also launch the City Wizard directly within City Engine. So I'll just start up City Engine here from the Start menu. And once it's open, go up to the File menu and choose New. And then in the City Engine folder, you can see the City Wizard. So click on that and then choose Next. And here we have a few options. First is the scene name, so I'm going to call this International City. And then we have some options with the terrain. 
I'm going to accept the defaults for the dimension and the elevation. And we have some options for changing the height map and the texture, which are basically the DEM and the aerial imagery that make up the terrain. And we have an obstacle image as well, which tells City Engine when not to draw buildings, like our lakes, for example. For the city size, I'll choose small. And for the street layout, I'll go with uh, Barcelona. Click Next. And then you have some styles of city here. I'm going to stick with the international city and click Finish. And then the city is generated. Once the scene appears, we can zoom in and start exploring. You can see here, we have some beautifully rendered buildings and streets and trees. In this template, the data was given to you, but in coming tutorials, we'll show you how to use your own data to generate these kind of beautiful visualizations.